Virgo, welcome to your Sunday shovel. We're going to start today by pulling a card from the Moonology Oracle. What's going on, please? For Virgo, show me Virgo, show me Virgo, like always. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Okay, if it doesn't resonate at all, perfectly normal. It's a collective reading. Okay, so it may not. Check your other placements. You will find yourself in there somewhere. What's going on, please? Virgo, show me Virgo. Oh. Okay. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Excellent. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. Excellent. You might have some very strong Leo and or Capricorn in your chart. Not really the point. Confidence is your key to success and your hard work is paying off. Beautiful. I like this. Keep on keeping on. You're doing great. You're doing well. Believe in yourself. See the outcome. See it in your mind. Okay. As a very sharp goal line that you've got to get there and you're going to get there your hard work is paying off have confidence in that all right what's going on please for virgo show me virgo show me virgo please show me virgo show me virgo ten of cups at the heart of the matter family emotional support Equal, uh, emotional equilibrium uh, amongst all those who are important to you. All right, excellent. Behind you, that Queen of Wands energy. I know in the past you had that certain level of confidence. Oomph, mm, feels good, look good. Hell yes. Three cups is floating around you. You might have an experience of, uh, well, a spike in social engagement and or activity, connection or reconnection. Let's see, currently, Page of Pentacles, you're like, I could do something. I could do something. Where you might plant that, I don't know. And it also could be maintenance mode as well. In other words, all is well, so I don't need to do much. There's that too. Okay, and before you, King of Cups, hey, King of Cups, nice, nice, nice. I'm not saying you're perfect. I'm not saying you don't have hard days. What I'm saying is that I'm looking at a Virgo who generally has a positive disposition. Uh, your heart space looks full. Um, it looks like you're surrounded in good company. I hope. And clarify, when I see somebody's emotional support system, we want it to be healthy, right? And I'm not saying we don't have one or two of those family members, but <laughs> for the most part, for the most part, we, we want it to be good, healthy, and supportive. It doesn't have to be exactly family. You know, if you've ever had a close or strong enough relationship with friends, they're good as. So whomever is in that Ten of Cups with you. Could be kids, a spouse, like anything, whatever. I don't know. Let's see that Ten of Cups, please, at the heart of the matter. Your family is important to you. Your friendships, your connectivity, right? Yeah. It's at the heart of what you do. Yeah, Seven of Wands, boundaries here, Four of Cups. Okay, the King of Pentacles. All right. Okay, okay. So... You know, you've got your boundaries in place. And King of Pentacles, many look to you as the head of household, provider, strong sense of leadership, resourcefulness, resource gatherer, that kind of thing. You're practical, right? Earth sign, King of Pentacles, that kind of goes hand in hand. Very practical energy. And like I said, you have a certain level of responsibility attached to you when it comes to your family. Here's the thing, you're a little detached from it, and sometimes you feel that you have to be. You have your reasons. It's important to you. Your family and friends are no less important to you, but you're also telling me you know when to draw the line. Healthy boundaries, seven ones and four cups. It's kind of like, you know, there's there's something in there that says, if I didn't, I don't want to be too overly involved. I care about my family and friends, and they care about me, but I have to know when to draw the line. Practically speaking, okay, I have concerns about my own immediate self or my own immediate family or my own immediate household. And it's, it's kind of like, I'm happy to participate. I love my family, don't get me wrong. They love me too. But I also keep very clear boundaries. <laughs> I don't know why you're showing me that. I don't know why. But you're, you're like, otherwise, Christina, it's, it's, it, it might be a feeling of it's too much. Or it might be a feeling of, you know, you're the one who's doing relatively well or you're healthy. And sometimes, you know, not all families are functioning at the highest level. And you don't want that to impede upon you. In other words, strong boundaries sometimes with family and friends because it's it, i don't know i don't know why but you kind of feel that there's a need to keep yourself a distance but not too much of a distance but some distance between you and family i don't know why that's such a critical point for you but you would know best okay let's see that queen of wands please you know it might be that thing where if you are the one that's technically the responsible one in the family you have to maintain healthy boundaries or else how can you maintain that kind of head of state energy you see what i'm saying somebody's got to be the clear head clear-headed one the level-headed one i don't know I don't know. You're saying it, it works for me, and it helps me, and it helps me function. Okay. 
All right, let's see that Queen of Wands. You know, it's not the most joyous, and you don't always want to celebrate in everybody's quinceanera or birthday party. It's like, I'm not going to all that. <laughs> I do just enough, okay? I do just, I do enough as it is. <laughs> you know, I have a line. I have a line. I can't go to everybody's graduate or something like that. You see what I'm saying? There's a certain distance between you and everybody else, but just like you're telling me you want it that way. And like I said, you got your reasons. All right. Queen of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. You know, you're telling me in the past there was a certain level of, uh, you went through a learning phase about what it is that makes you happy. So again, it's it's knowledge, but with merit. You said you, you kind of know these things. You kind of know these things about you. In other words, they're not a surprise. It's like, yeah, I, I know that. <laughs> like I said, you're comfortable in this knowledge. And I don't know why you're pointing that out to me, but it's it's kind of funny. I think it's kind of funny because I, I, I get that, you know, when you are the head of household and you, your family kind of sometimes encroaches on you because you are that resourceful or practical or reliable and you're like, I got limits. I got limits. And I know these things about myself. So, <laughs> and it's like, I, I know you're saying what works for me, and that's a developed knowledge, okay? It is a developed knowledge. Again, I think it's very interesting and very unique, and I don't know why I'm seeing it, except perhaps you are coming up upon a lot of social activities. Is that what that is? And it's provoking all this energy right now. But you're saying, I, I, I came to this, this knowledge and agreement with myself the hard way. Um, the Nine of Cups, it pleases me to be like this. It pleases me to have a little distance between me and them, okay? I love them, don't get me wrong. But it's kind of like the stuff I must be involved in, I will. <laughs> I don't want to be too involved. I like a little distance. Me too, honey. Me too. I like a little distance between me and family. Love them. But gotta have a little distance, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's see that Three of Cups. Let's see that three of cups, please. Let's see that three of cups. Okay, seven of pentacles and the nine of wands. That's what I'm saying, the four of wands. It's, oh God, is it just that bad right now? It, is everybody asking for your time, energy, and you're just exhausted? Mm -hmm. It's going to get worse before it gets better, honey. I don't know why it is, but you're trying to put a, a wall between you and the activities that are surrounding you. And maybe it's just you're tired. Maybe you need your own space, but you keep showing me space between yourself and those who um, necessitate your immediate intimacy or your immediate intimate circle. And you're like, here's me, here's them, and I want a little buffer there, Christina. I understand that. I acknowledge that. Maybe you're just, ex maybe you're exhausted. I'm seeing, a, I, was, I suspected it back here that there's someone in there floating around with you, uh, relationship energy. And I'm seeing that here with the four of wands and nine of wands, seven of pentacles. This, this is what I was talking about. I said, did you just have an increase in social activity? And you're kind of going, yeah, I knew it was coming. Seven of pentacles. It happens every year. Uh, but nine of wands, I'm fucking exhausted. <laughs> and, I'm just, <laughs> and it's, it's a relationship thing. Christina, my husband or my wife, they got like a thousand aunties and uncles and, and, and cousins. And I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't know why is this. You know, it's the holiday season. It's the, it, we're we're coming up. That's what it is. So we got birthdays flying around. We got activities. We got annuals. We got anniversaries. We've got this. We got that. We got. Is that what? Good God, honey. Oh no wonder. And you're like, I, you're telling me you need to pace your energy though. Why does that keep coming up? I have to pace it. I have to pay. Why do you have to pace it? Food. Acti no, don't get me wrong. The activity, the busyness of this, I completely get it. I'm introverted. People take away from me. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong. I love to socialize, but I can't do it hour after hour. I have to have some downtime. Now, I'm not saying you're introverted. What I'm saying is it feels like for you, it's like an onslaught. And it's not, it goes beyond you and whoever's in this relationship with you. We're talking extended. We're extended. It keeps reaching out. Good God, honey. But no, it's not that you're introverted. So you're telling me you have to pace it. We're talking food, holidays, celebration, alcohol. I can only handle so much. You're calculating time in between these activities. Why? Well, if you are who I think you are, well, it's because you have responsibilities attached to you. So between your social engagements and your work, it just feels like it's a little too much. You're feeling stretched, a little too thin. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. 
You know, I was hoping it was a happy three of cups, and in a way it is. It feels good to celebrate, but you're like, I can't celebrate all of them, Christina, because then I'll be 20 pounds overweight and perpetually hungover. And by the way, <laughs> I have to. <laughs> I am, and by the way, I got to pay the bills. And when am I supposed to take care of me? Okay, yeah, I agree. I agree. So that might explain why your energy is so small. Currently, it's like I have to pace this shit out. <laughs> I haven't seen it. This is pretty interesting for me. This is really specific. Uh, so I'm sorry if you don't resonate with it at all. I completely understand. I'm, I'm picking up at a microscopic level. It, it sometimes is very overarching and extremely vague, which frustrates me. And then it can get very specific, which will frustrate my audience, even though I think it's interesting. Other people, I can't relate to that at all. It's too specific. I know. I know. You know, but this, that's what it is today. That's what it is today. And it, it's, you know, I actually have to agree with you. If you're the one that's being practical, if you're the one that's head of state and you have all these responsibilities attached to you, it's also your responsibility to I agree, pace these things out. You have to know that there's some things you have to turn down. Family, friends, or your spouse's family, there's just some things you have to turn down. You can't participate in it at all. And honey, I, no, no. Talk about racking up those miles. It's too many miles. We're talking air mileage, car mileage, and not to mention the time, energy, and effort you have to physically put into it. So I, I, I don't blame you. If it's like you're going to start cutting some engagements off the calendar there. <laughs> you know what? It's like, Christina, I'm staying home for Thanksgiving this year or Christmas or something. I don't know what. You know, we're not going to little Johnny's 10th birthday or whatever it is. <laughs> Eight of swords. Oh, no. Three of cups. That's what I'm saying. Oh, no. It's consistent. I'll tell you that. Very consistent, Virgo, honey. Eight of, Eight of swords, three of cups in the sun. I'm, that's what I just got done saying to you. Rewind that shit. Some things you know you should celebrate. because Not because it feels bad, but because it feels good. But there's some things you just can't see yourself participating in. And you don't want to fully acknowledge it. You don't want to fully acknowledge it. You're being kind of vague with the people who are demanding. And it's, it, I don't see you committing. We're putting very little energy into some of these commitments that are hovering around you and are also in your immediate vicinity. And people are wanting you to lock shit down right now. Virgo, commit to this. Virgo, come to that. And you're like, we'll see. I'm guessing you're responding to a lot of folks with, we'll see. That's what this looks like. Because again... Do you want to celebrate with folks? Yes. You want them to be happy. And you want to participate in some of them, just not all of them. You ain't got that kind of time, honey. You just ain't got that. Who's got that kind of time? And your network is huge. Your emotional network is huge. And you want to, like, participate in maybe half of it. Maybe a third of it. Ay, ay, ay. A lot of folks are going to get, we'll see, <laughs> responses from you. This holiday season, I'm just gonna call your title that and just piss all these Virgos off. We'll see. <laughs> oh, Virgo. You know, it's hard to be in demand, honey. It's hard to be in demand, you know. Everybody just, just wants your time, energy, and attention. I know. And I'm like you, I know. You gotta know when to cut stuff off. And it's like, mm. I appreciate the invitation and I thank you for thinking of me. Just, I just don't think I'm gonna be able to make it out this year. Mm -hmm. I'm staying home for Thanksgiving this year, too. Oh, well, I'm hosting. But that one I'm planning. But, you know, you know what, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? It's like, we're going we're gonna to limit the travel experience this year. And other people's invitations. We're going to get real picky this year. I'm with you, Virgo. Cheers, honey. King of Cups, Two of Swords, The Wheel of Fortune, The Seven of Swords. Man, it's not that you feel bad. It's not... You don't feel bad. You just... I, I I feel like you just really want some time to yourself and you don't quite know how to phrase that. That's what it feels like. I think you got a lot of things going on. I do. And the social element is adding a certain layer to this cake that's making it less than desirable. It's like the more layers you add to this cake, the less you want to eat it. You understand? That's what I'm talking about. And I, I, th I think you're just in a phase work-wise or something-wise right now where you have a cumulative effect going and you have to see it through and I just feel like you're tired and bless your family and friends that want your attention and they want you to invest in them right now 
I'm gonna. You don't. You're in the Virgo. I'm looking at. You're not fully acknowledging these activities. Part of you is switched off back there because you don't want. You feel kind of bad. You feel kind of bad that you're not accepting these things, and so that's why you're giving people these half-hearted responses of well, we'll see. You know, I know, and you know, you know that I know, and you know that I know that I, it's so when it's over. We both know it's gonna be a no. You don't quite know that yet, but you need to. Just acknowledge it, Virgo honey. Talk to yourself, Virgo honey. Do we really want to go to all this shit? No. Can we just be at peace with it? Yeah. Is it okay to let some stuff go and let it slide this year? Yeah. Can we give ourselves permission to do that, please? Yeah. And then, oh boy, once you feel better. Just give yourself permission, please, to exit out of some things. I just don't think you're in a position to, and it's better that you are congruent with your energy than working against it. So the more in line you are with it, the more honest you can be with yourself, the more honest you can be with others, and they won't give you a hard time. They'll stop hammering on your damn door. Okay? Just be just a polite, firm no. And some of it will be more difficult than others. I know. And they'll push back on you, and they'll push back on you, and be like, hey, this is how it is. I'm exhausted. I've been doing this, that, and the other. And you might be used to hearing that from me, but I have a lot going on. And it's still going on. And it's not done. You're close, though. You're close. Confidence is your key to approaching this. Own that you don't want to show up to every little thing. Just own it. That's your confidence in and of itself. And that's what it is to be in alignment with your energy. Okay? Just be confident. That, okay, this is what I want to do and this is what I don't want to do. It's not like this every year, but it is right now. And I hope you understand that. Today is an, this is an off year. This is an off season. This is an off month. But I need it. I need the space. Because I just see you like not fully acknowledging that you want to be absent. Your heart's in a good place. It is. Your heart's in a good place, but you're tired. And I just, I see you just trying to, you don't need to dodge it, honey. Just own it. Just own it. You can't be everywhere all at one time and be everything to everybody. Oh my god. I know it seems so simple, but for some reason it's not. It's a really intricate web and it's like you don't want to disappoint anybody, but you end up disappointing them anyway by saying, "Oh, we'll see or for sure." And then you dodge out last second. Don't do it at all. Don't don't put up the fucking pretext. I I I know it shocks some people the way I interact with them and I'll just be like, "Oh, no. No, I actually have a lot going on this week." And I just don't don't commit to something that you you know you're probably not going to follow through with it because then you feel bad about it and then they feel bad about it. Just be congruent. It's not like you're making up excuses for no reason. You look exhausted. And again, you want to celebrate. You do. You want It's right here. But there's some things you can rejoice in and there's other things you can't. That's it. It doesn't make you a bad person. And I know you got lots of pressure from, extenua uh, from uh, a family that just seems to go on and on. And it just keeps going. Then, uh, honey, how many aunties you got? <laughs> how many, how many Tios and Titos do you have? <laughs> Ace of Wands. Some of you, uh, you might have some very strong fire in your chart, and that also could be a representation of the, the kind of shadow of a partner I'm seeing here. It's not about them, but I see that how much you're involved in. Yeah, it's in a crossroads. Some of you feel like you have to be pressured to be making decisions now, and so what you're trying to do, I get it, is that you're compromising on partial blindness. I kind of know that I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to kind of say yes, like a soft yes, and that will appease them for just do it. Just have confidence in your decision, okay? There are some things you'll know you say yes to, and there's other things you know you want to say no to. Just abide by that. It'll make your life easier. But yeah, it's, um, you know, I think to, you're just at that point of crossing a threshold. That's it. And it looks like a height of stress to me. And it's right now, and it's immediate, and it's captured. <laughs> it's interesting. Um, so, Virgo, honey, uh, you're in a place, though, where it's not like you haven't earned some time off. Let's be real. Um, and don't apologize for that. Okay? Virgo, honey, I hope this helps you. Put in the comments as you see, Faze. That was interesting. Take care. Be well.